Come have some fun and watch some games. Time to get crazy. It's night and day. Yeah. Night and day, back again. Back in the world of Plants vs. Zombies 2. And yeah, we're back in the Frostbite Caves. Taking another dive into the frozen wastes. That is what time it is to get freaking frozen and see what these zombies have in store for us next. More dodos. Oh, a big freaking hulking giant Neanderthal zombie covered with freaking ice and snow. I've never seen this guy before and I don't know what to expect. But let's pick our plans and find out. Then he'll destroy me and we can reload. All right. Yeah, we'll try it like this. It's a little bit risky because we should be using pepper pulled everywhere for the easy thaw, but you know, we'll just give it a try like this with hot potato, the potato of hotness. There we go, there we go, because it's time to dive back in to the world of Plants vs. Zombies 2 and see what we can do here. I don't know, we'll try you first. Oh, I picked the wrong one immediately, hooray! Well, hot potato refresh is pretty quick. Now it's time! Come on, come on, come on! Potato of hotness, there we go! It's time to... yeah. It's good to see Fume Shroom again. How you doing, Fume Shroom? It's been, been a little while. Uh, you can take care of business there. And you can come up here. We're still doing fine. It is time to time. Oh man, a freaking dude already. Deuteronomy McGee. Dodo. Mm, well, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. We'll see if we... Oh, we can thaw everybody in time. It looks good so far. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. Ah, oh, so he ate the topmost fume shroom. Yeah, so when you have kids, sometimes you end up... What is that on the bottom? Sometimes you end up... Singing the catchy songs because a lot of the kids' songs are actually pretty catchy. A lot of those mothers are catchy as hell. They, yeah, they, um, they've got great hand coordination, hand eye coordination. The mothers run up and they catch the stuff. All right, and they are really good at. Here. Didn't I feed this dude? They're really good at just handling everything that they need to. I think that's gonna do it for that. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Catch anything! They're just so great at it! What is this dude doing? Can I thaw your guy that you're pushing around? What happens when you keep pushing? I do not know. Oh crap. Can you shove my plants off the world? You can, you piece of freaking gigantic dog. Here, eat this gigantic dog. Can you eat that? And just die? Because that would be great. Uh oh. How did you survive? I need a little bit. Well, that didn't go up. That didn't go great. Oh, I should use plant food. I could have taken that guy out. So here, you do that. Yeah, my walls are not happening. But fire is working okay. So we probably could have done this. Yeah, there you go. Get out of here. So the Neanderthal guy pushes giant blocks of imps. But he doesn't get new ones, okay. Alright, so everything was a small delay. Uh, no, you guys aren't gonna make it, I don't need this wall at all. Okay, great. So everything was this. Oh, you know what? Plant food. Plant food on the torchwood. Crap, didn't see if I could do it or not. Alright, so that was a pretty fun level. We actually did get to use the torchwood plus repeater P combo. 
But the dodo at the bottom popped a freaking hello. Stunion. Only <laughs> 94 left to go to unlock him. Um, yeah, he popped a lawnmower. Could have stopped him if I was more liberal with my plant food, but I was kind of watching what was going on and talking about the ability of some mothers no to throw and catch. Long car rides part three. Okay, the game I want to tell you about is called Hero Wars. Please stop talking. It's the best ad-free game right now. <laughs> it's the best ad-free game right now. Are you allowed to do that in advertising? You're just allowed to... Our game is the best. Is false advertising no longer a thing? I wish these prehistoric zombies would just go back to their caves. Their cave is literally across the street from us. Captain Crazy. User Day, perhaps it's time to try a new tactic. Data suggests Stunyon would make for a potent ally here. Well, are you ready? That guy's breath is stunning. He not even a bippity boogity boo, not even exaggerating. He stunned zombies with his bad breath. Gross, but also pretty nifty. Okay, great. What? Oh, okay. Conveyor belt time? Yeah, great. I don't want to plant you because you're going to start freeing... You're going to start freeing good old Buckethead. So the concept here is to... Free them and then stun? I don't know. I have to kill the normal zombies, but I don't want to start firing on bucket heads because that's obnoxious. All right, we're gonna. This is where the the road. Oh, of course. I hate you. What do you do? So stunning is just the effect from. How long does he say stun? It's just this stun effect from Chili Bean without the rest of the goodness? The instant death? Then isn't stun in garbage? Here you go. Oh, here we go. Yes, please. Stunion, do you have a plant food effect? Oh! Does he stun without... Okay, this is a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. No, he does die in one hit. Here, you need to kindly... Oh, a freaking Citron. Fire! 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 Thank you. Jeebles. Here. Fire. Okay, we're not doing great. Uh, am I supposed to be using Stunions in a totally different way? Because it seems like they're horrible and there's no way to win. Go Citrons! So the Stunion does shoot out a bad breath and he instantly dies. I don't... Uh, we need this here right now. Uh... Oh, no. Here you go. Were we supposed to have gotten Citrons much earlier in the game? Fire! Oh, you're not gonna fire right away, are you? Yeah. So we are dead. The what? That wasn't the final wave yet? Okay, I am butchering the use of Stunion. Fire, fire, fire! Really, we just need to protect the two rows where we lost our lawnmowers. Which is now just this row. The rest of them, the lawnmowers will take out. But it's not enough time. So yeah, lawnmowers will take you guys, so we'll probably win the level, but it's... This seems awful. Alright. I no, no, stun that man. Okay. Boop, boop, Citron, get this man. Alright, we can stun one row endlessly, sure. But five? All right, this guy's toast now. How were we supposed to have? 
used the stunion so well that we didn't lose a lawnmower there. I am missing something about the stunion. He stuns, he stuns a group, but then he's gone. What? We won, sort of, question mark, but it was Lawnmower City. It's better than a bag of imps. There are coins. Tremendous. All right, let's. Whoa. Wow. Well, yes. Yes. Ebony. So Ebony is the name of the company that makes the game, I guess. Not the name of the game. But the running guys with the guns. Why would you put the title of the game so large? Or the title of the game maker so large. It's like, Blizzard! Diablo 4. I don't know. Survive the zombie attack with most of the plants picked for you. Excellent, fine. Are you going to give us relevant plants or crap plants? Okay, they give us relevant plants. So it's fine. And we will pick a few to finish out our roster. So... So Stunion costs only 25, but I can't imagine a time where he's better than Chili Bean. For just 25 more, you kill the zombie. And you still get a stun effect on the remaining zombies. Alright. Stunion, I had high hopes for you, but you seem awful. <clears throat> Alright, we need Talnut because we've got Dodos. Although Neanderthal Man pushes his army to push Talnut away. We're not going to go with Torchwood this time because we've got Pepper Polt. Picked a pack of peppity poopers. Um, Chili Bean seemed to take out Neanderthal Man, so we'll take him. I don't know if Neanderthal Man's push effect works on ground based fun friends. So we'll try this also. Let's rock. Hot potato go up. Hot potato go. Hot potato. Hoppity hoppita, baby. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. Okay, so two zombies, A, B, and C. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have put that guy there. Because this is where you need to be. Oh, you saw him. You go up top. And welcome to the jungle. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. I, by the way, hate you, flying guy. Total despise flying guy. Here, touch this. Now, you can't fly over that. What? I thought we did a test very early on where you cannot fly over that. Thank you. Freaking sit still. You piece of dog. Okay. I'm paying way too much attention to this guy. Uh, here. Here, guys. Have that. Alright, we're gonna get tons of sun. So, let's keep on planting and laughing. Like that. Alright. Going on, going on. Sun time. Sunshine. Oh, it's Pushy McGill of freaking Push me. Here. Eat that. Here. Stun. Stun, Stunion. Oh, you know what? We are not attacking that guy at all. Alright. Fire in the hole. Ba boom. Thank you. Alright, any pushers? Anybody pushing? Let's get some sun. Fun sun, sun of the fun, fun of the sun. I guess we just need more pepper bolts, actually. It's not efficient placement at all. Haha! -ha. Come on! Come on! Oh, it's pushy, pushy McPush face. Here, can you eat this up? Not you, Hunter Zombie. 
Okay, well. That's partially helpful. Fire, please. Stop doing everything that you're doing, please. There we go. That's good. How did you get up here, by the way? You piece of gigantic face dog man. Okay, we're doing actually pretty good, it seems like. It seems like this makes much more sense than the last level. Oh, you piece of dog. Let's get you up here and thaw out some friends. And put this back here. Here, eat that. It's great. It's good for you. Builds character. Builds something. Giant zombie armata. Alright, we're doing okay so far. Final wave. We got the plant food. Now the music finally hits. Alright. Um, sure, fire in the hole, baby. Baboom! Stop encroaching upon my friends. Alright, looks like we're okay. go, here we go, you're toast, you're toast, you're all on fire, you're toast. Don't even need to use our final plant food. This level made sense. We did use a stunion once. Hey! But only because Chili Bean was on refresh. <laughs> stunion just seemed like super bad for the cost. Like all those temporary plants aren't great for the cost because they only get rid of one zombie and they're not constantly firing. But, if it totally gets rid of the one zombie, then that's much better than if it just pauses the zombie? I don't know, for 25? Hey, we got Stunyon, after I was just spent the last like three levels complaining about him. Welcome to the team, Stunyon. Not planning on using you, buddy. Nearby zombies in the lane. The stun effect didn't even seem like it goes as far as Chili Bean. And there's no kill effect. I don't get it, Stunyon. You seem like you're not very good to me. Trust me. This strategy game of course is I'm gonna a trust real you. brain twister. Let's have some fun together. Alright, same crew is here. We get to finally pick all of our plants. So let us do so. Yeah, that Neanderthal guy is a problem. All right, we'll try it like this. So the ice flows let us strategically plant plants where they will do the most use, but except for the first, as soon as they introduce the dodo, it just, oh, three flags. Ooh, maybe we should have brought, maybe we should have brought our good friend Our good friend 3 Pita to go, because we're trying the Torchwood strategy again because there's enough room in this map to actually put down the Torchwoods. Let's do it like this. Yeah, most of these levels though, it would be better to simply have... Alright, we kind of need some more sun here, boys. It would be better to simply use the uh, good old friends. Too bad you can't, yeah, hot potato preemptively, because you know it's going to happen. There we go. Yeah, the stun effect from Chili Bean is so much better. Anyway. And there, as soon as they introduce the Dodo, the effect of the ice flows is kind of pointless. You no longer get that super helpful anyway alright we need you in there and a torchwood to start here let's get it going baby oh pushy pushy there you go sir chomp that hold still are we going to have to burn this? Oh my goodness, you piece of freaking... Uh, I want to plant food. Did I get him? No, it's past him. You're going to eat my plant. 
You're gonna eat my plant and still trigger. Oh, still trigger the lawnmower. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is the challenge here. Come on, free him. You can see him. All right. Do we have enough chili beans for that to be the answer? Well, well. All right, so the torchwoods also thaw, which is great. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna, if they bring in tons of Neanderthals, we are a little bit in danger. All right, get down here. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna actually do this this time. How did you get there? I need just a tiny bit of sun, please. Alright, trying that. Get out of here, you little crazy bee. Alright, so we're in trouble. We lost our... Oh, freaking... That's how he got over there. He's just a dodo, and that's all he ever needs to do. Final wave? Ugh. Dodos, you guys are so obnoxious. Yeah, we are in trouble. But we're at the final wave, so suck it. Boom! <laughs> there we go. Uh, we need someone down here firing. This row needs you. Anybody frozen? Can I use the hot potato on the imps? And if I do, yes I can. What, what happens? Do you shove the imp? No, you get closer. Um, okay, yeah, we're still okay. The torchwood does a lot of damage. All right, we don't want you shoving imps anymore, so we're gonna take you out like this. All right, we're fine. Bottom row is the only row where there's a potential problem. And I've got this thing called chili bean. It makes Stunion look like hot garbage. Here, have it. Have it, baby. Tostada. All right, so that was... Hello. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's probably the unlock the Whatchamadur, the endless level. Or it gets us to the Gargantua level. Didn't we play that already? I don't know. User Dave, I've detected an incoming ice cube. Looks like a zombie circle to me. Analysis suggests this creepy cube unlocks a chili challenge. You know what I say? You know what I say? Bring it on, Raggle. All right, that's... All right, I'm sure that's what they had in mind when they wrote that. Whoever came up with Crazy Dave's dialogue intended him to say it in exactly that voice, that in exactly that inflection. That's what I'm trying to say. Icebound Battleground. Survive level after level of escalating zombie attacks. Test your skills in this endless zone. I do kind of want to... Oh, God. I do want to mess around with the endless zones, but we'll probably do that a little bit later. Hello. It is weird that they unlock it at a different point. Icebound Battleground is now available. It is weird that they unlock at a different point at every zone. You would think it would be more consistent? I wonder if there's a reason for that. Anyway, so yeah, so this level is 30. This world is 30 levels long. That is interessante. We got enough time for one more. Yar, so let's dive in there. Dive in there. I should have left me pirate accent back in the pirate seas, yar. Warning, user Dave, I am running low on antifreeze. If my systems f f freeze up, we could never be stuck here forever. Then stop using your freaking e stop using extra energy to simulate a cold voice. You're not actually cold. Your systems are cold, but that doesn't mean that your freaking vocal synthesizer or whatever your speaker system would just mimic human shivering. It'll be a cold day in heck before I let that happen, Penny. Oh, you actually treat Penny with respect now? Time to unleash fire pea shooter. 
She could apply heat to those zombies and warm up nearby paths, too. Really? There's a fire pea shooter? Doesn't that completely make Torchwood in... Just irrelevant? Oh, time to... Okay, we're just going. Here's fire pea shooter. Oh, looks cool. Alright, so the top, bottom, and middle are the ones we have to look out for. Boop. I guess we'll do a little preemptive... A little of this, a little of that. Alright. So yeah, he shoots fire peas. She... She shoots fire peas automatically. Oh my goodness. Okay, do we need... I don't think they had any dodos, so we're gonna... Oh, they have snowstorms. Yeah, I mean, given snowstorms... <laughs> Alright, so for now, we'll still concentrate firepower on the rows where we know the zombies have to go to. But given the snowstorms and given the dodos, there's just... it makes the ice blocks almost irrelevant. Oh, let's check out fire pea shooters, firepower. Whoa, insta-kill on a row? That's pretty freaking good. So it doesn't look like it's doing area of effect damage. So maybe that's the bonus of Torchwood. In the PvZ1, Torchwood still did... Oh, are we done? No, it's the first one. Okay. In PvZ1... Whoa, there's getting to be a lot of you guys. Should I use this? Yeah. That's... So good. In PvZ1, the Torchwood turned the Fire Peas into AoE Peas. Here, it looks like they're not flashing the zombies next to them. What? We get... That's not expected. Okay, we'll just put a little of this in that. A little of this, a little of that. Um, I guess we'll put these here for now. That's what I was afraid of. As soon as I put those magnets there, <laughs> some sandstorm blows in a zombie. Um, hmm. This seems fine. I think this is what we're meant to do. We're just introducing you to how fire pea shooter is freaking great. Stop eating that, thanks. that sound effect would be a good idea. <laughs> Alright, take that bucket. How is a rock bucket metal? Did taking the bucket unfreeze him? That's what it seems like. Alright, let's we'll do a little bit more and a little bit more. A little bit more like this. Final wave! So yeah, it doesn't seem like the fire peas are, they come out of these things are AoE. Um, we're pretty much good to go. Let me do a little bit of this for nostalgia's sake. Take him out, baby! And yeah. Nice and easy. Total cake. Thank you so much for my big bag of money. That was a totally easy level. What the heck. Calm down, Spike Weed. Spike Rock. Spike Rock is still making his chompy chompy eat eat sound effect. Whoa, what is that dude? It's freaking... Wilma Flintstone. And a freaking tree stump with dragons in it? Is that a weasel in it? Uh oh. Yeah, okay. Let's try it! And then we don't know what these alligator things do. Is that a plant? I mean, it's a plant. It's on our side. It's pointing at them. What kind of plant are you? So yeah, the ice flows are almost irrelevant because the dodos ignore them, so you have to plant defenses for every row anyway. Maybe. Oh, there's two of you together? Like little freaking chumbas? I didn't bring hot potato. Maybe I should have brought hot potato. 
Uh, nope, can't do that. I could be a little too late, I don't know. Let's try this though. If I'm too indecisive, we just die. Okay, yeah, that looks a little grim, so let's get you in on the mix so that we don't all die. That should be enough to get rid of them though. A little bit of this. Do do do. Okay. That's good, that's good. Then we need some bolts. Peppery, peppermint goodness. Then we still know what's going on with those. Boom. Let's do that and this. Oh crap, I still keep putting you guys in not the brightest spots, huh? Uh-oh, here comes a bouncy tree weasel or whatever this thing is. Oh no. Huh. Listen, bouncy tree weasel. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we might want... We might want that just for that. Oh, okay, now we've got the alligator in the front. Can I move you? Can I save you? Can I do anything with you and or about you? Oh crap, a bouncy tree weasel. So same situation. Let's get some spike weeds in there. Um, yeah. Just like that. Whoa, you're already freaking frozen. All right, bouncy tree weasels. What? How did you get past that? Alright, okay. Oh, you know what? I need spike weeds at the front, back, back front to do the trick. Maybe. Oh, this is not going well. These bouncy tree weasels are crazy. Alright. Get out of here, chili bean. You serve your country. Uh, oh, God, I hate you guys. Freaking tree weasels. Oh, we're low on sun because we lost some of our good friends, the sun eaters. Here you go, you freaking goofy jumper. Come on. We need another sunflower. Well, it is the final wave, so I guess technically. Hi, sandstorm. Not a fanstorm. So I don't know what those alligator things were about. Okay. Okay, tree weasels. All right. So yeah, freaking. There we go. No. Pull him back. Nice. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, so you guys, you're gonna come over here and just get wrecked. That's fine. Have a wall anyway, just in case. So, yeah, lightning reed and the spike weed definitely help versus these crazy swarming, kind of dropping little woodland friend animal zombie friends. Zombies. I'm sure that's what the actual name of that zombie is. Rolls right off the tongue. So yeah, great, beautiful. Give me that, give me that treasure. 100 whole dollars. Now we've got 40,000 and 100 whole dollars. Thank you, hot potato. What does leveling you up even do? Just lowers the refresh? Hey, leveling you up could do a lot. But we're not gonna anyway, so it don't matter none. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. So there you go. Oh my goodness, the Meg Three. Oh, the baby fish. Oh no, f this game. Goodbye. <laughs> no eating the baby fish. Get out of here with that crap. Long live the baby fish, and babies in general. 
No, we're not going to do this right now. Let me... Give me the option to exit when it is time to exit, Diagon it, because now we're out of time. We're definitely out of time after that last level. But yes, good old Lightning Reed. I wanted to just use him again to change things up. That was good timing because those freaking whatever those thing, ferrets, weasels, whatever they were. We thought that they would act like the chickens, and they did. So they ran right across our field of spiky, spiky, zappy zaps, and they died. A horrible, horrible death. Which is kind of sad because they don't look like zombified creatures. Anyway, let's not think too deeply about it. They work for the zombies, therefore evil. Um, yeah. Excellent. So, great time to use the lightning reed. Just to change things up. We wanted to do it anyway for fun. And it turned out to be one of the best choices we made all day long. Today has not been a day of significant relevant choices. Anyway, we will see you guys next time for more Plants vs. Zombies in the Frostbite Caves. Caves, not caverns. I don't know how many times I messed that up in the past, but it doesn't matter. We are fixing it moving forward. So we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Torchwood plus Rotovega doesn't do anything. It's not working, everybody. Uh-oh, <laughs> we're gonna die.